Hey everybody, it's CartFab here, and today we're going over some performance mods for your Briggs & Stratton 5 horsepower flathead engine. The two modifications we're going to do today are one, shaving the eyebrows, and two, porting and polishing the intake and exhaust. So let's go check it out. So what does it mean to shave the eyebrows on a Briggs & Stratton 5 horsepower flathead engine? Well basically, all it is is removing material between the intake valve and the piston, as well as the exhaust valve and the piston. And what that'll do for you is it'll actually uh, increase your flow so you can have a better performing engine. Uh, the downside of that is it actually decreases your compression a little bit, but you can overcome that through some things that we're going to look at in another video later down the line. So the first step is to put on your head gasket and mark where you want to have your eyebrows shaved. Now, it's very important that you shave only where the head gasket does not touch and that you just do a gradual slope. Okay, so your tools that you need to have is just any rotary grinder. I have a Dremel with a sanding disc and a polishing disc. So basically go very slow, just making a side to side motion and you only want to slope up to the top of the cylinder. You do not want to cut out uh, where the cylinder is or you might ruin your block. So you do all the grinding first, vacuum it up, and that is the initial grind with the heavy grit. Then you put on a finer grit or a higher number grit uh, sanding drum, and you just do the same thing, smoothing it all out. The idea here is just making sure everything is smooth. And then the final step is taking the polishing disc and making sure everything is super, super smooth. Uh, you can do this with or without uh, the valves in it, but I did it with the valves in place because I'm going to be replacing them and you don't want to run into the valve seats. So that's it for shaving the eyebrows. So when we're talking about porting and polishing, we're talking about intake and exhaust. The engine when it's built has uh, castings in it that need to be knocked down. So I'm not going to do a very strong port and polish job. It's going to be very mild just to knock down the castings. The tools I used to port and polish the intake and exhaust were basically some wooden uh, bits for carving wood and then a sanding drum and a polisher. So I also used tape to tape everything off so you don't want to have all this junk going in the engine. Uh, so this is the exhaust. Uh, has all the junk in it, the intake. All these little bits of casting and sharp edges are protruding. So uh, as I mentioned, you don't want to have stuff go into the engine, so I just broke some Q-tips in half and shoved them down the valve guides and put a rag, aka sock, in there as well. And then I use this bit here to grind out uh, the casting. I roughened up the intake, polished up the exhaust here. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes, and then I use this bit mainly to rough out those sharp edges there. Uh, just remove the casting burrs and edges. This is the exhaust uh, before and after, as well as the intake before and after. You notice I just removed a little bit of the burrs, uh, kind of filed that down. You don't want to run into the valve seats when you're grinding. Uh, that's very important. And then uh, this is the intake here. Make sure it's not super smooth. So that is it for porting, polishing, and shaving the eyebrows. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, comment below. Uh, let me know in the comments if I did a pretty good job. This is the first time I actually have ported and polished in a small engine, as well as uh, shaved the eyebrows. I've seen a lot of different pictures on it and I wanted to make sure I'm doing it right. The next video we're gonna look at is tearing this engine apart and putting all of these awesome performance parts in it. We're gonna go over the flywheel installation, arc billet rod installation. Uh, we're gonna look at cams, as well as uh, installing valves with uh, higher tension valve springs and uh, putting on a thinner head gasket. So please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you next time.